I know the virus is real. It was cooked up in a lab. Uh, the Great Reset, New World Order, not just conspiracies. Look, is everything going on coincidences? Don't take our word for it. This is the terminology used by people in power. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. We will be looking at what contact tracing looks like in the new world order. Uh, yes, it will be pubs and clubs and other things if we have a positive case there. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. This is our chance to accelerate our pre-pandemic efforts to reimagine economic systems that actually address global challenges like extreme poverty, inequality, and climate change. So they're saying things like New World Order, uh, this reset, you know. Um, why are they saying the quiet part out loud? What's, what's changed right now? Well, did you notice the new spending bill is, is called Build Back Better? Yes. And they all wear that rainbow swastika it's it's a sun sign of the un and klaus schwab bill gates wears it klaus schwab wears it and klaus schwab was the head of the bilderberg group back when that was secret and he was also the head of the un uh, global sustainability board uh, under unesco and so he's written four books where he explains uh, he wrote a book of uh, a few years ago he also wrote the great reset last year saying we're going to use the fear of a virus to bring in a global system and a global medical vaccine passport that will actually really be a carbon tax passport right. that tracks everything you do. And now MasterCard's come out, United's come out, and Kerry said last week, he goes, I don't care if governments don't pass carbon taxes. The corporations are implementing it now. So it's a global corporate tax on people right. to the corporations. And when you hear Build Back Better, that means post-industrial world, Agenda 2030, this is all official, abolish all the small businesses and then vertically integrate the economy. So it's a corporate fascist takeover using Marxist-Leninist ideology and a Cloward and Piven strategy to collapse civilization. And that doesn't require any kind of a conspiracy. To be clear, we're, just, we're not saying that Bill Gates is putting a tracking chip in your vaccine. We're not no. saying that's not a real... Of course, it's a we're real not virus. We're not he's not. <laughs> no, we're saying it's... This they're is creating a real, a international It's a database. real virus, and they're taking advantage of something to use that to instill fear and control them. Exactly. And the results have decimated small businesses across this country. It's what you were saying earlier when you were defending Joe Rogan. And that's what he was saying. He's not saying that they've killed millions of people in in, in death camps yet yeah. what he said is this is the lead up you can't buy or sell unless you have a special license you mark the people you want to target and now as of today the cdc is calling people with an illegal national database it's in the news uh calling them at their house to say you haven't been injected uh why is that and so whatever happened to hipaa whatever happened to the nuremberg code whatever happened to medical privacy and if you look at australia the uk uh new zealand canada and, and the eu they're now announcing a thing called shielding and that's where you quote lock down cities and areas completely quote so the healthy don't get it and they're now mm. proposing that and and building and expanding these they're emergency shielding uh, yeah, okay i just thought that was something that they uh, put at the uh, at the, the golden Here's corral the so document operational, the shrimp. <laughs> operational considerations february 11th 2020 and then it goes in to talk about general population, how to lock down cities, how to put people in camps. Well, look, that's one thing. Of course, they have there's, locked down countries. This camp yeah, sector. Exactly. Well, there are camps in Australia right movement now. movement interactions. Right. There are camps in Australia. One's only going to be completed in 2024. Like, it, yeah. That's a pretty long time. <laughs> the definition of the vaccine, it does not refer to immunization. It refers to protection mm -hmm. against COVID. Because it's a gene therapy. So let's expand on that. They're, what they're doing is building on top of all of this. So if you remember, what did Biden say six months ago? He said, in red areas and in areas that aren't highly vaccinated, we're going to send groups out to homes to canvas yeah. and to push for them to be and to try to take them there. Right. So people hear this now announced because they're expanding and people have been called and they're pushing it on them. And they go, that couldn't be. That's not American. But remember, Biden announced it. And they have newscasts showing people going to people's doors and saying... Come on, we'll take you to get the shot right now. You really need it. Right. Paid for by the federal government. Mr. Pfizer's neighborhood, yeah. Through through <laughs> through NGOs. So the answer is yeah. it is going on. So I see what I do is I don't just use one report. I'll have dozens of others. You know, they're already going on under other names. And what I'm saying is the UN admits, Dr. Ryan, the head of Global Rapid Response, a year and a half ago, he said, we're going to have the shield in place proposal. It's going to be implemented by governments around the world. And we're going to go in and basically in the future under new lockdowns, actually go in and take people out of the homes who aren't even sick to take them to facilities, quote, for their protection. So they want that power to develop the camps. And at first, it'll look reasonable. You'll go to the camp. You'll get out of the camp. It describes how you'll be taken to the camps in here, in this document I gave you, from CDC.gov for six months. That's quite what? Uh, so. So remember Hillary said we need fun camps for men? Hey, try this. 
I got a leaked document. Fun camps for men? Wasn't that Epstein search this, Island? Search this. Yes. Search this with Infowars.com at the end. It'll still take you to the Army's website, but that's how you find it. Search Obama, re, Obama re-education camps. And remember, 2010, he secretly proposed re-education camps for Americans during a collapse. The Army got upset, leaked the document to me, and then two years later they declassified it. So understand, this has been going on a while. They've been trying to secretly prepare Let me this. read this. I'll just look, this, just so yeah. people can see this, uh, I don't know if you can get a close-up here, uh, Court of Black Air, uh, uh, because we don't have these sources available, but this is, if you can look in that little URL, we'll make sure that we have it available on uh, loudoutofcrowder.com. Yeah, yeah. This is a CDC website. I just There's opened a it up. copy of it. Oh, okay. Well, I just, oh, well people know. Well, we'll, I even highlighted it for but hold that okay. up. Hold it up here. So this is from the CDC website. I have it right here. And this is something that I just read in here. It does say, for this reason, the shielding approach suggests physically separating high-risk individuals from the general population to prioritize the use of the limited available resources and avoid implementing long-term containment measures among the general population. Hmm. That's a good thing. That is uh, absolutely Bernie, terrifying. Again, we'll bring this up because this is, what, cdc.gov slash coronavirus 2019-ncov. Okay. 2019. Um, I want to move on here. Yeah, oh, oh, by the way. We have documents from the IMF from 2018 calling it COVID-19 preparations. Wow. They've been, oh, 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 that's the next document. Operation Lockstep. Oh, let's props. move on. Let's move on to Operation <laughs> Lockstep, Stephen. This one right here from the Rockefeller Foundation, 2011. Mask lockdowns introducing an authoritarian world government takeover. Actually, use those words. <laughs> wow. And that's from what year? 2018? 2011. Oh, 11. 2011. They preparing in 2018. This is from the wow. Rockefeller? Yeah. And they run the U.S. It National says lockstep, a world of tighter top-down government control and more authoritarian leadership with limited innovation and growing citizen pushback. That's just something for you to read later. You know? No, no, look, this is going to be good bathroom reading because uh, <laughs> I'll need something afterward to wipe. I don't mean as an insult to you, but I mean as an insult them. to Rockefeller. Yeah. But remember, scene man yeah. Here's about the deal. Build Back mandates. Better and the Great Reset is the corporate UN world government takeover in the Rockefeller Foundation's own words. Right. If you go to Klaus Schwab, who's the head of this whole thing, the head of the Davos group, if you go to his own Wikipedia and then link through, I don't just trust Wikipedia, he says, we are going to capture all the governments of the world, voters will no longer matter, and yeah. only stakeholders from corporations in the UN will have authority. Then we can carry out depopulation. It's on the Wikipedia for Klaus Schwab, uh, it's capturing nation states. And I think this is all important to note. This is separate from the argument. We've talked with people, if you want to get the vaccine, get the vaccine. If you don't, I think you should have the right to not get the vaccine. We're talking about the power grab We're talking about the it. freedom for people to make. In other words, all of this yeah. is a non-issue. Let's bring it to Donald Trump. they don't want to put a chip in you. They want the, the world ID medical passport to be in your phone or right. a card, and that's what tracks you, right. and it's that's what controls you. Your phone already chip. tracks everybody. You don't need a chip. Well, but to be clear, Donald Trump did uh, you know Operation Warp Speed, made sure that mm -hmm. we had a bill. It's the Trump vaccine. However, I think the big Trump difference, fell into their trap. I think it's the worst well, thing. Well, no, but hold on. The thing is, Donald Trump wasn't trying to force anyone. There's a big difference between making it available so you shouldn't be and made. mandating, and and that yeah. is the difference. It's not a problem with people having access or choosing to take the vaccine. It's a problem with mandating it, as we just saw on CNN right now, saying we need to man we need to consider mandating pregnant women, which is which is a That's concern nuts. for any medication. Just to be clear, yes. experimental. Yes. You're about to say and something. My wife is in first trimester right now. We and were drinking with this. every yeah, day, every yes. single <laughs> night. No, but Alec, you, you made up a good. You brought up a good point. You said go and read these documents and check for yourself because Reuters actually tried to come out and kind of quote unquote fact checked the shielding, saying it was actually just for like refugee camps, right? So I, I don't know if it was in response to this getting out on the, on but the media. But only they don't put refugees in no, refugee no, no, camps. No. That's what I'm saying so here here's the thing like just be aware of some of the other articles that may come out and say oh no 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 this is totally fine just like this 1994 we've been doing these calls since 1994 nothing to see here guys right, right? yes so just understand we're, we're giving you the context so that you can look at all of it and, and you also need to understand your rights look all of this becomes a moot point if you are talking about you having the freedom to make your own choices this is about a systematic removal of freedoms and this is what comes down with the vaccine mandates we have a clip yeah. I want to roll this clip and then get Alex's thoughts but let me be clear Boosters are important, but the most important thing we need to do is get more people vaccinated. The vast majority of Americans are doing the right thing. Over 77% of adults have gotten at least one shot. About 23% haven't gotten any shots. And that, uh, that distinct minority is causing an awful lot of us, uh, uh, an awful lot of damage for hmm. the rest of the country. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated.
vilifying. That's why I'm moving forward with vaccination requirements wherever I can. Is it a pandemic? On Are Wednesday, we I'll in Australia be when 78 percent of hospital patients about are vaccinated so as opposed to 50 percent of the population. The Is it a pandemic of the unvaccinated in Israel? Their hmm. own vaccine We're 90 percent. We yeah. know that to beat this pandemic and to save lives, to keep our children safe, our schools open, our economy going, we need to get folks vaccinated. So please, please do the right thing. Now, Alex, let me just reiterate something there. Did you hear what he just said? In order to keep our businesses open, yeah. our schools safe, mm -hmm. he just said basically in order for you to be able to live any aspect of your life untouched, we need to make sure that everyone gets vaccinated. How does that happen? Well, it started with a mandate of companies of 100 people or more. Yeah. It affects 80 million Americans. He's saying that's required simply to do business or send your kids to school. And by the way, his new Build Back Better bill, spending bill, this is mainstream news today, has a $700,000 fine. Yeah. Not, not, not the previous fine. Uh, uh, what was it? $15,000. I think it was just discovered, it was it yesterday, that yeah. people were going through it going, this is a cra it would cripple industry. 700000 And yeah. listen, it's not just the two shots. Then it's Israel's up with their f uh, second booster now. Australia's announcing basically every few months you're going to get the shots. And their health minister said, this is Build Back Better. You never go back to normal. So he's there holding you hostage. Biden's saying, to keep things open, to keep things going, you've got to do what we say. And it's a epidemic, a pandemic of the unvaccinated. And as you said, Israel's 90% injected in almost all their cases. Again, remember Fauci lied on many things about, yeah. about gain I mean, of function, you name it. But he also repeat lied. Yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Remember three months ago? He said 99% of people dying have not had the vaccine. Well, he used statistics from 2020 when no one was vaccinated. Right. So it's, it's all pure deception. And, 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 and the truth is the PCR test, 94% are false positive. You mentioned that. This is all garbage. I know the virus is real. It was cooked up in a lab. I know it's got terrible gain of function. I know that uh, once it mutated in a Delta variant, I got it. It was terrible. Almost killed my dad. I've been saying for five months, yeah. this is much worse than last year. But then most people I know that have gotten deathly ill other than my dad have been injected. And, and that's what the real numbers show. And they don't want us discussing that. There's another big study out today. Well, at the very least, what I would say is we, you can't make any claim as far as correlation. And co but you can say that, okay, it's not what... What people expected with the vaccine and immunization no. for example alex you're not anti-vaccine to be clear measles things like that like you have you've had those shots rubella or someone when you're a kid i've had those shots we don't need to get a booster on those every time you know what i never mm -hmm. have to go into a store and say hey, hey hold on what's your and policy that's because they're actual vaccines right because they're actual <laughs> vaccines and they work no one goes onto an airline and says uh delta uh are you checking for the rubella cards no right? because they work because that's why the corporations them. well here's the thing Whenever we say something, we've got to pull up every fact, every study when they're all right here. And then meanwhile, Biden has said over and over again that, oh, don't take the vaccine. You can't just trust it if Trump does it. A day after he gets in, it's the best thing ever. you got yeah. to take it right now. And then he goes, right. so did Kamala Harris. She said, full stop. She wouldn't take it. Yeah. And then I'm sitting here saying, hey, I've got the Israeli study of over 6 million people that they studied, the biggest study in world history, and they're saying the Pfizer shot has 39% efficacy after three months. That's that's just them. That's and, and when Senator Paul quoted that on the floor of the Senate, an Israeli study, they said, oh, sorry, the UN doesn't say that's official information. 